Hi there. Today I'm going to talk a little bit more about Glogster and how you can use images and graphics in a Glog. I have a little sample Glog that I started here about weather. Weather is one of my favorite topics uh, to work on with kids because it's curriculum related and it has so many um, subcategories uh, within it and it's just a natural topic that really affects our lives. So I made a little area over here about temperature using a couple of different text balloons actually and a graphic in here. Um, I also put a little citation for the graphic from where I took it from. You can also see that I actually put this graphic behind um, these text boxes. That's really easy to do by just when you click on the graphic you can use these uh, aspects of the, the menu, bring it forward or send it back. Um, can just help you with your design. So let's go down here to precipitation as a subtopic. If I was going to create a little area of this blog about precipitation, um, that'd be something you could do for kids or you could do with kids. I'm going to open up a new tab here in Safari and I'm going to search for a picture that would go with precipitation. I'm going to use Google Images, I often do, and Google Images can give you access to a lot of different um, items and also allow you to, you can cite them, um, because it's pretty much fair use within education if you're using something off the internet as long as you teach kids how to use it and cite it. Um, let's just go for rain. Okay, let's say I like this image. I'm going to click through to the full size image because this will give me a way to um, save it and it also shows me where it came from exactly for a citation. So on a Mac I'm going to control click on that image to do save image as and I'm just going to save it to my desktop and note the name of it is rain.jpg. If you're working on a PC the way you can do that same thing is right click on an image to save it someplace to use in another area. So while I'm over here, I'm actually going to take the URL or a good chunk of it, just the beginning of it. At my school we teach kids to cite images to the third slash one, two, three, so that they at least um, show where the image came from. If I want to get that image now into my blog, I'm just going to go image now, you can do this via linking to the image, um, which is a little bit easier if you just took that URL. Um, but sometimes the image can go away. Uh, so if you link to it and the, that web page goes away, you'll have a big blank space there eventually. So I always like to do it this way. So I clicked Upload. I'm going to go to my rain picture, Open, let it load. Then you click on it. Nice thing about Glogster too is you can make that image even more graphic by adding a frame to it. So frames are yet another piece of Glogster that are sort of fun. I'm just going to pick this one for the sake of quickness, but you could pick any frame you like. The same categories are available. And you say use it. The image came in over here. You can move it around. It's a little bit too big for me right now, so I resized it. I want to bring that down there. Let's say I want to bring my title forward a bit. I can do that. I can rotate this a little bit. Ooh! <laughs> That's good. Okay, and remember I said I could cite the image. I had copied it while I was on that web page. For these, I just used, I try to just use the basic um, titles. So click basic and title. That way you're just putting in a, a real simple text box. Notice how it doesn't have any graphic around it or anything like that. That shows where that picture came from. So 
so I'm practicing good principles of fair use even if I make it pretty small and I can put it right down here so that's how you insert an image in a glog graphics are built into glogster so this is a great um, area to explore if you want to add just some nice graphics uh, for precipitation, this one works. Um, you can use all these same categories. Some of the graphics are actually animated, which is nice. Um, they might have some slight animation to them. But I'm going to put this kind of bleak cloud in to go over with my precipitation. And there you go. So I added an image, I added a graphic, and I cited the image that I added. As always, you want to frequently save your blog. I will call this one Earth Sciences and save it. Next time I want to work on it, It'll be down here in the your blogs area, and I can just click edit to continue working on it. So that's it. That's uh, some tips on Glogster and images and graphics. Thanks a lot.